How's everybody doing? Just your Schmo back once again to do another quick video. Hopefully it'll be quick. Try not to ramble off topic too much. Today is the 20th of April. So for all you that do, you know, 4, 420, the big thing, right? What is it? People say happy like 420 because it's like, a, I mean, they, they consider it a holiday, I think. Um, I myself am not one of those people. Nothing against it, just you know, not my thing. Uh, but it is what it is. So enjoy the day. Um, it's actually a pretty nice day here uh, in Ohio right now. It's a little, a little chilly. Um, as far as compared to the last couple days we've had, where it was up around 70, I think today it was only in the lower 50s. Um, actually went in to do some work this morning. I was doing a, a mulch job at one of our restaurants yesterday. And uh, didn't get it finished. And there were some shrubs that I thought needed to uh, get kind of pruned back beforehand. So I went in this morning pruned all the shrubs back, squared them off, and then uh, finished up the mulch. So. But I've been home for a little bit, watched a little bit of YouTube, as I always do. Um, decided to come up and going to do a couple videos. So this will be the first of two. I'm going to open it up. Uh, I think we're going to do basketball in this video, and the next video will be football, but I've got I went to get some groceries, mainly dog food, dog treats. Um, had to go get another small bag of uh, Rachel Ray's Nutrish. That's what I give my dog Kiwi. Um, not only dry food, but then I, I buy the little uh, six-pack like tubs of their wet food, the Nutrish wet food. So, if you've never tried that for your dog, I suggest maybe uh, give it a try. It's all, all natural ingredients. I mean, you can actually see what the ingredients are in it, uh, my, and, and Kiwi loves them. Um, then I got her some more uh, minty bone treats, and uh, picked me up some ice cream. Haven't had ice cream in a while, so I got me some Reese's Cup ice cream. But I also picked up a couple packs of cards. These are just like they call them, you know, like the jumbo packs or whatever. So this is Don Russ basketball, um, 2023 to 24 um, season. So the newest one it says look for exclusive hollow pink laser parallel. So those are probably the the ones that are kind of guaranteed in each pack. Obviously, there are any number of other things you can pull out of these. Not likely, but you can. So we're going to do those in this video. The next video will be this pack of Prestige 2023. So make sure you're subscribed. Hit that notification bell so you will be apprised of when that video comes up. Let's dive in. I know next to little to nothing about basketball. I occasionally watch it, not very often. And if I do, it's mainly um, NBA. So I don't watch it. I mean, I know Caitlin Clark. Obviously, you know she's like the big on the college scene. She seems to be the the big one most people are talking about right now. And then there's another uh, another rookie. I think an NBA rookie that's uh, Wembenai or something. Like that. I, I don't know how to pronounce the name, but those are the, the names that I've really been uh, hearing about lately. Obviously, I mean, if there are some people that have been, you know, if there are some older players in these cards that have been playing for years in the NBA, then I'll probably recognize their name. But a lot of the, a lot of the newer ones and you know, rookies, I'm not going to know. But here we go. We've got Jalen Williams. We've got Kristaps Porzingis. We've got Chris Duarte, Kyle Irving, K 
Callan. Yeah, I'm guessing it's either Kalen or Callan Sexton. Jimmy Butler. Try to hold these so that glare doesn't hit directly on the, the card. Jake LaRovia. Terrence Munn. I don't know why these cards, like when you try to put stack them in a straight stack, they all want to just, probably because they're so glossy, they just want to slide off each other. We got L Laurie Martinson. AJ Grippen. Austin Reeves. I think a lot of times in these bigger packs too, you you basically go through a bunch of base cards and then you get some rookies and, and inserts and stuff like that. Derek Rose. I think I've heard of him. Jalen Duran. So I think a lot of the players that I was real familiar with, um, you know, they're retired now. So obviously, like your Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, uh, Magic Johnson. Um, obviously, I know LeBron. Um, you know, Scottie Pippen. That should give you an idea of when I was, you know, watching NBA to where I would actually know the players. We got Terry Rozier, Ro Rozier, Ro Rozier. The third, Jordan Poole, Drew Holiday, I'm guessing that's how you pronounce his first name, pa Paulo Bonchero, Stephen Adams, See, that, that's a name I can easily pronounce. Jalen Green. There's a lot of players named Jalen, right? And I've really seen that name kind of take off here over the last, oh, what, maybe 10 years or so. Victor o Oladipo. Anthony Davis. David Ruddy. Rudy, Russell Westbrook, so far we haven't pulled any parallels or anything, alright now we're getting into some rookies, Victor, oh here's the one I was actually talking about right, that's that's him isn't it, when, when, Banyana, is that right? Is that is he the big rookie that that everybody's looking for right now? Huh. Let's look that up. Make sure. I mean, maybe there's two people with names like that. I, I don't know. Next we have. Is that? Oh, Ovier, Maxence, Prosper, or o Olivier, Maxence, Prosper. Next, we have Jalen Hood Chipino. Another Jalen. Whoa, we've got a, some, a little sparkle here. I'm guessing this is like a starburst or sunburst or something like that, maybe. We have a Julius Randle. Not a rookie. Not numbered. Still a pretty cool card though. I paid $7.95 for this. So, I mean at $7.95, there's probably a pretty good chance that you're going to get your money back. Alright, next we've got a Devin Booker Bomb Squad. Not numbered. 
pretty cool card though. And the last card is complete player card of LeBron. So that's not bad. This is actually card number one. So not not a bad. I'll probably go through and I'll look up these inserts, these rookies, get a kind of gauge of what they, if they're selling, what they're selling for, just to get an idea of whether, okay, did I make my money back, or how close did I go to, to get my money back in, uh, in these, if I was to sell them today. Um, I probably won't. I'll probably hold on to these, you know, especially the rookies, since they're this year's rookies. Um, I'll just hold on to them. Um, that can kind of be a double-edged sword uh, with cards because, um, you know, as I say, all it takes is, you know, God forbid, I don't wish this on anybody, but all it takes is like one bad injury or in some cases, not even an injury, just a bad season to where all of a sudden what might have been a starter all of a sudden gets put on a back burner. Um, you know, the cards industry, I guess you would, well, I mean, it is an industry, but, you know, the card is kind of, I want to say kind of fickle in that way a little bit, as to they can really go up and down, depending on how a player performs. Um, obviously, you know, there's some, some players, especially some of the older players that I mentioned earlier, you know, like, a, you know, like Michael Jordan, he hasn't been playing for years now, but, pretty much anything Michael Jordan has got value. Uh, and it probably always will. It's never going to go down. It's never going to tank. Um, so, a lot of these players, if they're playing the game long enough to kind of get that legendary status, and some of them very well could, um, then a lot of their memorabilia and their trading cards and stuff like that will attain that same value and keep it over the years. Other players that don't get to that level they might be the, the thing that's hot for a couple of years. And then, it, you know, and it, you know, that's where you run a risk. If you hold on to the cards, you know, like rookie cards, thinking, waiting to see what they do. If they don't take off, well, then you're not likely, you know, you're going to have a rookie card that's maybe worth a couple bucks. But if they take off, you know, and they have a career of it, you know, 10 years down the road, you might have a rookie card, especially if it's a good card, you keep protected, and it's got good centering and everything like that. Um, you know, where it would be probably wise in that case to then actually send it in graded, then you might, you might have a card that goes for you know, a few thousand. Or, you know, if, if somebody, I mean, I, I don't, I don't imagine... To me personally, I don't imagine anybody ever getting to the Michael Jordan status. Um, I know a lot of people might might look at LeBron, um, but I still I still think there's a, a big difference um, between them. You know, I don't know the stats or anything like that. Like I said, I don't, I haven't watched. Uh, you know, I haven't kept. I know I obviously know who LeBron James is, but I don't know how his stats compare to Michael Jordan. But yeah, I think I think you know some of those older players are just I I just don't see people you know even if they do have a stats I don't see them having the same um, impact you know on 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 the trading card market and uh, of people really wanting to collect certain things in regards to them uh, could be wrong. Time will tell. Like I said, these are, you know, this year's cards. So, I think, you know, I've done that with pretty much all the rookie cards out of stuff that I've, I've opened, um, well, just in general. I mean, even when, I, even when I've opened stuff that was older, older stuff, um, I've opted to hold on to the, the rookie cards that I pulled out of it. 
Now, obviously, you know, exception would, would be, you know, if I went to open something that's like, say, 10 years, <coughs> you know, say, I'd probably say the cutoff for me would be like 2010. You know, anything that was like 2010 and earlier, there'd be no reason to hold on to rookie cards, really, because a lot of those players maybe aren't playing anymore. But after 2010, there's a good chance that, you know, some of those players are still playing. So, and just like one bad season can break you, one stellar season can just shoot the value of things way up. So, all right, well, that's it. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if there was anything, like, in the base cards, if you saw me pull a player that you think, you know, that'd be somebody, even base card, that I might want to sleeve up and and hold on to. Uh, let me know in the comments down below, because like I said, I do not really know, um, you know, a lot of the people playing basketball right now. Um, all right, well, that's it. Uh, again, thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you come back and tune in to the next video, which will be the... Prestige 2023 football. Um, outside of that, hey, as always, look up yourself and everyone around you so we all have a much better chance of staying safe and healthy. Obviously, this is going to get posted. I'm going to I'm going to set it up to start start processing. It'll be posted up. Should be just later, you know, here within the hour or so. So it is a little bit after five o'clock on uh, the twentieth right now. So. If you're watching that short after this, have a great weekend. Till the next time, see ya.